Well, hello there, and thank you for coming by the Reamsey channel. I am glad that you did, and today we are taking a look at the Easton Press editions of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. And uh, this Easton Press set comes with The Hobbit and The Silmarillion. So it's a very nice thing indeed. I had decided I wanted to reread this book while I'm uh, uh, feeling a little bit indisposed. Uh, right now, and uh, so uh, I was going to read one of my single volume editions, and I thought, you know, this book would be more comfortable to read in the multi-volume publications, and uh, I looked around at what was available and obviously decided on the Easton Press, because I love Easton Press books, and uh, I knew that the Easton Press were kind of Tolkien specialists. I didn't realize how much until I went over there to their Tolkien section. They have all kinds of marvelous Tolkien books. And hello, Toby. And uh, so I immediately uh, got busy and began ordering stuff. Uh, I intend to get all the Easton Press Tolkien publications. They're so beautiful. But uh, let's take a look at them. You see that uh, this particular set has a uniform design. They all have this sort of very uh, Tolkien-esque, I'd say this looks like 70s or 80s era kind of uh, a Tolkien vibe to it, because everything back then sort of had this sort of lettering on it. And, uh, the, you know, they're, they're very vintage looking, even though these are brand new copies. Uh, and uh, they have this very, it may look black on this video, but it's a very dark, like a hunter's green uh, for this beautiful fine grain leather that they have uh, chosen to bind these in. And uh, really nice, heavy, embossed hot foil stamping. And uh, the cover has a nice design on the back of it as well. And uh, they have what you expect from Easton Press to have. Um, well, they all come with these book plates. I never use those, but they come in handy for bookmarks. Here's our moir and papers. Silk. Beautiful. Uh, look at that beautiful frontispiece there. That's exclusive to the Easton Press edition. Really, really attractive. Uh, this edition rate retains all of the author J.R.R. Tolkien's original artwork uh, for the publication, so you're going to see the familiar uh, Tolkien artwork in this edition. This one of our maps. Uh, the paper quality on these is just second to none. It feels so good. It's so nice. It's so thick. Uh, it's just, it's just really, really special, I think. Uh, beautifully illustrated all the way through and just at the highest quality. And that's why you're buying an Easton Press book. You want a book that feels like a good book and that reads like a good book. And it is a good book. These guys just truly know how to make books. And uh, this edition of The Hobbit is certainly no exception. And uh, I just absolutely love it. There you go. And then the other books in the series follow suit. Here's our Fellowship of the Ring. Let me put the book plate back in here or I'll end up with this stuff in a thousand different places. Um, all the books of the Lord of the, of the main part of the Lord of the Rings uh, come with a detached map and the maps are nice size. They're not as large as what we got in that uh, recent single volume super deluxe leather bound or quarter leather bound edition but they're very nice maps uh, two color printed of course like they should be so there you see an example of the map that comes with the fellowship of the ring um, every once in a while i'll actually refer to the maps um, but uh, you see it follows the same binding. They're all, it's very uniformly bound so that it makes a presentation as a beautiful set on your shelf. There we have 
frontispiece piece of the Balrog. As I said, the illustrations in these are by uh, Michael Hague, I believe it is. It's H-A-G-U-E, and these are exclusive. The only place that you're going to get this artwork is in these uh, Easton Press editions, and it's very handsome artwork indeed. And uh, as you might expect, the um, font size is a little bit smaller in The Lord of the Rings, but it's still very readable, and the books are very, very comfortable. They're, they have uh, sewn bindings, uh, and they're very comfortable to read, and the, uh, the font size is very readable. It's much more readable than what we get in the single volumes, uh, which is why I chose to go uh, this route. As my eyes get older and older, I need the largest font sizes that I can come up with. And um, these Easton Press editions had nice font sizes. Here's our two towers. Again, each one's going to look the same, you know, because they did this as a set. And uh, I just couldn't be happier with this. I really couldn't. Here's our map that comes into two towers. I probably don't even need to fold all of these maps. And let's see if we can get to our, our beautiful frontispiece illustration. There it is. Again, the artwork is by Michael Hegg. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And there's the two towers in the Easton Press in Norwalk, Connecticut. Easton Press has been giving us truly the great editions for years and years and years now. And uh, I'm glad that they're not stopping. And uh, I'm glad they're keeping this Tolkien stuff going. Here is the uh, final book in the Lord of the Rings proper, The Return of the Kings. This is a big old heavy monster. Uh, I just love this lettering. This this so reminds me of, of Tolkien when I was a kid, uh, when we were watching the Rankin-Bass animated films, and then the back she came out, and when, uh, when uh, the uh, we were reading these, the sixth and seventh graders in the, I think they were Ballantine box sets. Those things always ended up looking like they'd been read by a sixth or seventh grader in a Ballantine box set. Uh, the map of Gondor and Mordor. But isn't it just as nice as anything you've ever seen? And such a pleasure to read. I've started rereading it. I've been reading quite heavily. I'm, I have finished The Hobbit. I have finished The uh, Fellowship of the Rings. And I am two-thirds of the way through The Two Towers right now in my rereading re of this. So I've been reading a lot. But as I said, I'm kind of uh, out of commission right now as far as health goes and having to stay inside while I recover. And so what a better place to spend your recovery time than in Middle Earth. Look at this dragon. That beautiful the Michael Hagg illustration. So, um, you know, and I can tell you they are an absolute joy to read. Every time I pick one of these up and sit down with it and get into it, and then I'm into it for hours, you know, the whole time, it's a pleasure. And it's, it's, it's good to get fun from the physical book itself. And this is, a, this is a, fun and luxurious set to read, I've got to tell you. Uh, and then we have our Silmarillion, which is my, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I've always thought of the Silmarillion almost like a Bible anyway, and that kind of looks like one, doesn't it? Um, the leather is just so nice. It's, 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 it's a, it's a good fine grain leather. Now, what, what I have preferred maybe a Morocco, some sort of a goat skin or something, or I don't know. Now I'm not, I'm, I, I don't know if I would or not. I think I really just love the quality of this leather on this set. Um, I'm not able to tell whether this is calf skin or pig skin, but it's, it's some kind of a really nice fine grain leather in here. Um, here's our map that comes with the Silmarillion.
And I do like the detachable backs, by the maps, instead of the ones that come flapping out from the back that are actually sort of like halfway bound in. So, and papers again. So there you see it. This is the Easton Press. Oh, I've got my bookmarker coming out. I don't like for my bookmarks to dangle because if the bookmarks dangle, then they're going to get frayed and unpleasant, and you don't want that eloquent. Uh, um, so anyway, I, I I I I absolutely love it. I think Easton Press has done an amazing job, like they do on everything. You wouldn't expect them to do anything any less than an amazing job. So there you go. That is the Lord of the Rings, the Easton Press edition. And I'm just enjoying the hell out of it. I'd say I've probably got another week of reading before I'm finished with it. And happily, I've already got more of the Easton Press Tolkien books lined up and ready to read. And uh, like I said, as I order everything in the inventory, I'll be making videos here on YouTube to share with you just how well Easton Press has done in uh, bringing the works of Tolkien into these sumptuous leather-bound editions. So, I thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on another one again really soon. Hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>